Greetings from Cambridge, Massachusetts. My name is Mark Shotland, and I lead the training team at the Abdul Latif Jamil Poverty Action Lab. JPAL was established in 2003 as a research center in the economics department of MIT. But more importantly, it is a network of social science faculty researchers at universities all over the globe. And together, they have conducted about a thousand randomized evaluations in 70 countries. Beyond running randomized evaluations, we also have a team at JPAL that trains others on how to do so. And that's the team I lead. Since 2005, we've been training others all over the globe on how to design their own randomized evaluations. However, designing randomized evaluations is only half of the challenge. The other half, the expensive half, the time-consuming half, and probably the most difficult half is running randomized evaluations in the field. That's why since 2008, along with IPA, we've been formally training our staff on how to implement field trials. We always had ambitions to make our staff training available to existing and aspiring researchers outside of our network. Now, with JPAL 102X, we are finally able to do so and reach a massive audience through the edX platform. So this course, JPAL 102X, combines the material from JPAL 101X on how to design randomized evaluations with material we've been teaching thousands of our own research staff. Specifically, it is comprised of five sections. First, designing randomized evaluations, where we tackle the question, what is evaluation? What is the purpose of evaluation in general? And what is the theory behind our evaluation question? Second, selecting a sample. How do we figure out who will participate in the study? How do we find them? And how large should our study be? Third, measurement. Determining what data we will collect and how. Fourth, data collection and management. We'll discuss here how to conduct high quality data and the logistics of data collection. Will we use paper surveys or digital? How do we train our survey team? How will they travel to households they intend to survey? How do we manage the inflow of data? And how do we ensure the security of our data? And fifth, and finally, research integrity, transparency, and reproducibility. Here we will talk about what one must do to make sure our research meets the highest level of ethical standards, how the scientific community expects research to be conducted, and practical tips for overall project management. This course will be comprised of lecture sequences, case studies, exercises, and quizzes, and an exam at the end. After taking this course, you should be equipped with everything you need to know to design and run your own randomized evaluation. The rest you will learn by doing, gaining your own experience and insights. Until then, we look forward to seeing you in class.